Hello Mary son of from Pastor Tom. Wow. 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 So, <laughs> so what have you sacrificed in joining Miss Universe Philippines? Kasi medyo matagal so parang 3 months. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, and you know, and as a woman, I've also learned that I don't need to sacrifice too much anymore. I may have sacrificed my presence in Miami, but the fact, the biggest challenge was the fact that I am here and still be able to operate so many things in in Miami and here to build new opportunities here while I'm competing in this universe Philippines. You know, I am completely amazed by myself. And I think it's a true dedication of my you know, my commitment to my dreams and the impact that I want to create in the community. Um, before I came here, I had a goal to sell as much properties as I, as I need so that I can fund my, you know, my Miss Universe lifestyle to, and not worry about taking care of my employees, taking care of my team, you know, because joining this pageant is it's not a joke. It's it's a serious, serious commitment, and I applaud uh, the my fellow candidates for. For making it, you know, I'm so proud of them, and it's nice to have. You know, I'm actually kind of jealous of them because they have so many support from their government and stuff. But uh, you know, but the fact that I'm able to manage everything, I, I'm pretty amazed. I may not, you know, I'm just sad that I had to sacrifice my cat. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was able to bring my dog here, but my Aww. cat, I had to leave her, um, you know. But she's taken care of there. Yeah, but I miss her a lot. Okay, next. Hi, this is Sherman. Hi, this is Sherman. Oh, wow. My question is, do you have any unique queens that you look up to? If so, who and why? Pia Wurzbach. Uh, you know, she's, she's just incredible. She continues to amaze me year after year. And the fact that it took her three times to meet a crowd. And Till today, she's still a very successful and relevant beauty queen. She just continues to, you know, to achieve her dreams. It's it's incredible. And um, not that I'm saying I'm gonna copy three times, but <laughs> but I just love her dedication and how she just continuously you know, flourish. It's it's I am inspired. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, Mary. Hi, Adam. Believe me, you have so beautiful tonight. I've got so many questions. So, one, <laughs> one, <laughs> I just want to tie in the loophole. Everything that you've been, uh, I just want to get to know you more. So, I'm just going to tie in some loopholes now. But I need to really get to know you deeper. So, how did your how did your interest in real estate begin? And, because uh, I because you know you've been traumatized by your previous relationship, but you still, you know, stayed in Miami to pursue your real estate career when you know you could ka naman to the Philippines. So I just want to ask, you know, you, what was your mindset then coming out of a very tumultu a very you know turbulent or tumultuous relationship and how did you find eventually your passion for real estate? My real estate journey actually started here in the Philippines. You know, as soon as I walked into this beautiful model home, I was completely inspired. You know, growing up, I didn't grow, we didn't grow up in a beautiful home. I've always wanted a beautiful home. Uh, so when I walked into that space, I, I just fell in love, you know, and, and I said, I, I want this for myself. 
how do I get this? And you know, I want this life. I, I, I want, I've, I've always dreamed it because I came from very humble beginnings. So, um, so that was the start of my journey. And when I moved to America, I didn't want to go back to school. I didn't want to, you know, I've experienced working for corporate. I've even experienced, you know, small, small jobs just to like support myself. And I told myself, I'm not going to reach to where I want to be if I work for somebody else. What would be the fastest career that if I give my all, and if I give my all, what would be the highest reward? And Googled it, real estate agent. <laughs> and then I remember, I've always loved this, I've always, you know, homes has always inspired me. So, you know, I, I would, I'm gonna give myself five years to just really focus on my career. And, you know, I really give, give my give my all and, you know, year after year, I've achieved my, my dreams, my goals for real estate. Um, every year, life keeps getting better. Um, every year, and you know, I know my mom is here and she's very upset that I dropped out of college to fulfill my other dreams, but, and I never made it at the top of my class. But mom, I'm always at the top of the, uh, of the office at the sales, <laughs> at the sales board. <laughs> so, um, and now I'm grateful to have this kind of life and to have my own dream home that I dreamed of. And hopefully, you know, my experiences is just to inspire. I, I want to help people to also achieve these kind of things because everything is really possible. The fact, like I said, the fact that I'm here, well, and being active in so many other things is, is a testament to just believing in myself and in my visions in life. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure why you should do me now. Send the lesson. Yes, yes, yes. So before he asked the penultimate question, uh, uh, coming from your the thing that you talked about, you know, the real estate, my question for you is, uh, by the way, I'm Tristan from the Philippine Pageantry. Hi, Bob. Yeah. As a successful real estate mover with over ninety million dollars worth of properties sold, how will you sell yourself and your capabilities for the universe to see your worth and become Miss Universe Philippines twenty twenty four? That's a beautiful question. For a beautiful lady. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, um, before I started my Miss Universe Philippines journey, and when I was, uh, and, I, and I was talking to trainers and coaches, you know, when they read my bio, they said that, you know, you you have a successful career, you're already doing work in the community, and you know your lifestyle is already Miss Universe level. Um, so. You know, I came into this mindset of just, you know, I'm here to pick up my crown. <laughs> but other than that, I, you know, my, as a Filipina with global skills and talent, I also know my true power and, and know how to communicate with all with people from all walks of life, you know, from high level officials to people from the grassroots. And I know how to create a bigger impact. I know how to, you know, maximize this platform for the highest of good. So, so that's the kind of value that I'm bringing into the table with my expertise as a, you know, as a businesswoman queen so I I 
think I have a lot to offer. I, I, it's just it's just up to the org if they see that opportunity and the value that I can create. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.